Welcome back to another Joystick Gremlin tutorial. Today we're going to talk about converting an analog axes and even your standard 4 and 8 way hats into virtual buttons. We'll be using the VKB Cosmo SEMA handle for this as it has a mini stick that can act as an analog axis and also a standard 4 way hat. With the red light illuminated, the mini stick acts like an analog axis. When I press the center button, the red light goes out and it behaves like a four-way hat. We'll walk through binding both of these modes into VJoy buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'll select my hat on the VKB joystick. From the drop down menu, select hat buttons and click add for north, east, south, and west, respectively. I'll verify that VJoy buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4 are mapped to each direction on the hat. Save and activate the profile. You'll notice when I move the four way hat on the VKB joystick, it activates VJoy buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's return the mini stick to the analog axis mode and we'll go through binding an analog axis to buttons. Let's bind the X rotation and Y rotation axes to VJoy buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'll select the X rotation and add two remap actions. Set the first action to VJoy button 1 and the second to VJoy button 2. Click on the virtual button tab on the first action. Change the range to 0.95 and 1.00 and set the drop down to below. Repeat the steps on the second remap tab but change the values to negative 0.95 and negative 1.00 and change the drop down to above. We'll repeat the steps for Y rotation, except we'll use VJoy buttons 3 and 4 this time. Essentially, we're telling the joystick to only activate a button at the very end of the range, 95 to 100% in either direction. You can modify the 095 to a different number if you wanted to activate sooner. Save and activate the profile. Now when we move the analog axes on the mini stick, notice that it's mapped to VJoy buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4. In the examples we used, we simply remapped to virtual buttons. But the same technique can apply to many different items in the drop-down menu, including macros, keyboard and mouse bindings, sounds, mode switches, and more. Hopefully this gives you some ideas on how to use your analog axes and hats to add more functionality to your joystick toolbox. Thanks for watching.